Ladies and gentlemen, it is Unit 10 Post Lab. Remember, this is a lab with a power supply. We had a resistor there, and the question was, how does voltage and current relate? Um, so your graphs uh, should have been the following. You can see the blue as being the resistor. That was a 5-ohm resistor that we were using. And the light bulb was the red. And just want to point out two things that you should have noticed. Um, resistor was a straight line. The light bulb was not a straight line. And if you saw a little bit of a curve and you tried to modify it, you should have realized that the modification would not have worked. So let's talk about this, just this piece alone. Um, the first piece that you should realize is um, something's happening with that first part of that curve, and then it really becomes a straight line after that. So a light bulb, actually, um, V and I is not a direct proportion. Um, when, and you got to ask yourself the question, what is happening while it is doing that? And you see it's at the first couple of values of current. And um, you realize that is when the light bulb is heating up. So when the light bulb is heating up. Um, so one of the things that we actually say, we call this a non-ohmic resistor. Um, so this is a non-ohmic, meaning that it ha it is not a direct relationship the whole way through. You really can't use our equations that we're going to develop today because of this little curve. So you'll see we'll actually start focusing most of our attention on these things called resistors. And you'll notice V and I is a direct proportion for a resistor. Um, and... Um, what happens is we call this, this is an ohmic. It follows the property of an ohmic resistor. And um, we'll, we'll continue on what that actually is in just a second. Um, so that is the first part of this. Um, and then <clears throat> the other question that I was asking is, um, what was the meaning of the slope? And these are always kind of interesting to look at. Um, so the first part that you should realize is, um, should have had a volt per amp. Um, so that's how many volts per uh, one amp that you would have. So if you had one amp of current, that's how many voltage, or that would be your voltage across there. Um, if you started to look at the units, you would have realized you would have been like joule per coulomb divided by coulomb per second. You had a joule seconds per coulomb squared. And to really try to get any un understanding out of it, that's really wacky. So you don't want to go that route. However, if you would have looked at the number, the number in this case was five and you should have been like huh five where have i seen five before that was actually written on the resistor and um if that's written on the resistor that's actually what we are going to call the property of that resistor um you would have noticed the light bulb um would have had a different um slope which is again another property um of that what we call this property we call this property resistance so the resistance of a resistor is going to be the slope of that line so remember this is the slope of the v versus i graph um and again, this is a constant slope for a resistor, um, being that it is an ohmic resistor. And um, the units for this, um, we saw it was a volt per amp. Remember that an amp is how we measure current. And um, if you want to um, simplify this, this is actually simplified down to what we call an ohm, which can be written as the Greek letter Omega. You will see it written like this. You might also see it written just like that. Um, it is not an O, it is an Omega. So um, finally, the key idea here is the general model is V versus I. Our slope is what we call resistance, which is abbreviated by an R. Um, and so you get the equation V equals I R. And you'll notice that there is no y-intercept 
um, in this again because as current goes to zero that means you have no flow of charge and if you don't have any flow of charge you're not going to have any voltage or energy um, going on in there so V equals I R is our new equation this is actually called Ohm's law um, again I don't really care about the names I care more about where you where these things come from and this is coming from a V versus I graph with the slope of being resistance so what is really nice about knowing something like this is I can draw in a circuit that looks something like this where I have 10 volts here and I know my resistance let's say is 5 ohms and I can ask a couple questions. I can ask first off um, what is the voltage across this resistor? Um, I can ask that I can ask what is the current what is the current being measured in this piece of wire I can ask what's the current over here in this piece of wire I can also ask what's the current coming from the battery so what I want you guys to actually do is um, go solve this um, remember that we have this nice new model V equals IR um, keep in mind this is V of a resistor because that's what we were uh, measuring and this is the resistance of the resistor and the I is again the current through so this is current through the resistor but you may have to use other rules and things in order to answer a question like this make sure that you can describe them all uh, thanks for listening we'll talk about this tomorrow remember your homework is there should have been this video and answering this question peace